Hey, in this video, we're going to be taking one of these spoons. This is a miniature spoon, an antique one. Um, I don't know what year. I'm sure that information on the back will probably tell me, but really don't care. Um, I found this in an antique shop about a month ago and I um, actually found two of them. The first one I sort of cut up a little bit already and forgot to do anything with. So um, anyway, long story short, uh, this is the one I'm going to be making a video with. And we're going to be making a pen clip out of this miniature spoon. So first thing we need to do is uh, pound the spoon part flat. And um, I don't think this is a very hard uh, steel or metal. So I'm just going to uh, pound it flat with a hammer and then we'll come right back. I'm just going to pound it against a piece of 2 by 4 on the wood floor. Nothing, um, nothing mysterious. Okay, well that would take about 20 seconds to pound flat. So, and then judging by the discoloration, uh, that can't be stainless steel so it must be a soft metal of some sort so anyway um what i need to do next is just mark that similar to the shape in order to trace this i want to brighten this up so i'm just going to remove that um, patina There, that looks pretty good. Okay, so this spoon here, um, you can kind of see a line right there. I took one of my Bacote wood guitar picks and I traced that over that right there. So I'm gonna try and save that metal. And that line right there is going to be for the bottom of the clip and then the width of the clip so with this miniature spoon i'm hoping to get uh kill two birds with one stone i'm hoping to get the clip and make a guitar pick out of this at the same time now the test will be every time i try and cut something like this i end up ruining a blade but because of how easy that uh, bent on me, um, I'm hoping that that is an indication that this isn't a hard metal or steel and that the metal cutting blade will cut the spoon without ruining the blade. So we'll give it a shot and see. out pretty good so this isn't a very hard steel at all and then I'll just clean this up on the disc sander and then that will be that will be done so back to the guitar pick we're just gonna shape this real quick
Okay, switching back to the wire wheel, I just want to remove that um, patina off the back end. pretty good and then I just want to polish it real quick next this part only takes a couple minutes normally I have a, a basin under here to catch all this stuff but I'm not gonna worry about that tonight Has kind of a strange uh, patina on it or the way it's treated or something it's not really polishing up very good so I'm just gonna switch to the Dremel then do that off camera and come back when I'm done okay after a little bit of polishing it has a little bit of a, of a hazy finish but that was from the patina uh, within that but I think it came out pretty good looking um, it feels good in the hand. Um, it's about as thick as a regular Gibson guitar pick, but obviously not flexible. So if you're a bass guitarist, this could be pretty cool. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. It came out pretty neat, and I'm looking forward to giving this to a buddy of mine and seeing how it works out for him. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.